Hello guys, welcome to JD Tutorials. In this video, we will see end to end how to deploy our bot in Azure. Let's get started. Before starting, if you have not subscribed to our channel, just pause the video for a few seconds and click on subscribe. I hope you have a working code with you. I am going to use QA Updater Bot to deploy it to my Azure account. If you have seen my last video, we had created this bot. Now let us try to deploy it in Azure. First, I am going to create a resource group. I will give the name as QA Updater rg and create then i'm going to create an app service plan i'll give the name as q and a updater app service plan since this just for the demo purpose I'll be using the free tire let us wait for the deployment to get completed yeah we have successfully created our app service plan now we will create a web app bot. Creating this web app bot we have already seen when we were creating flight booking core bot using Azure bot services. I will give the name as QA updater. bot I'll select the resource group just now which I have created pricing tier I'll keep it as free and the bot template I'll use the basic bot you don't have to worry about the bot template because this bot template will be get overwritten with our local code you can select the Lewis location and the Lewis account. You can if the Lewis, Lewis account is not available, then you can create a new account. Since we have not working with Lewis in our project, I'll just create a sample Lewis account so that it will get connected, but we will not be using it. the app service plan this app service plan which we have created just now it not able to come over here it may take some time so no problem let me use the already existing one and I'll switch off the application insights and I'll create auto create app ID and password this also register our bot in the Azure Active Directory. Deployment is in progress. Let us wait for it to get completed. This web app bot creates two resources for us. One is with a type web app bot and another one is the app service. Let us go to the web app bot resource and test in web chat whether it is working or not initially it has to show me a welcome message I'm just waiting for that welcome message to come yeah here we have the welcome message that means our basic template is working fine now we'll go to our resource group
we go to the app service resource then we click on deployment slots sorry deployment center now we have this many options for the continuous deployment you can either use azure repos github bitbucket or any local git because my code is available in github it automatically got captured my user account since i have already been logged in to my github account in this system i'll continue and i'll make use of azure pipeline because that would be the easiest one as far as i have used one it will take the code from the github repository and it will dump to the azure repos and it will create a pipeline to dump our code into this app service i'll select the repository which i have to use for my code and my repository name is qna updater bot and my master branch i'll be using and let me create a new azure devops organization because i haven't created one as of now i'll give, give the name as jd bots and the location i will give this let us keep it uh, east asia and finish if you want to learn how to send your code to the remote repository such as azure repos or github or any other repository then you can see my another video where we have deployed our web application code into remote repositories i'll be giving that link in the description deployment is completed let us see live it will show us the build part and the release part for that you need to go to the azure devops See this is the organization we have created just now. I'll go to my projects. It has automatic automatically created this project for me. Let me go to pipeline. See, this was the last commit statement I had given: removal of unnecessary files. Let me open this one, and you can see the build is still running. it has started just 33 seconds ago now it is going to restore all the new git packages build has started testing and now publishing now after the build has been completed it will release like deploy our code to the azure app service it is in queue and now in progress you can also make use of this azure devops to keep your code and create a pipeline using the visual studio as well that we had already seen in one of my videos that i'll be putting that link in the description now it is successfully sent the code to the production environment now let us check in our web app bot whether that code is present or not and whether it is in working condition or not 
this is our web app bot i'll test in web chat let me wait for the welcome message to appear yeah it is perfectly showing me the correct welcome message for my chatbot auto updater q and maker bot let me just test this chatbot let me go to my q and maker portal in my last video we had added a q and a pair now here also we'll be adding q and a pair but using web chat see the last uh, modified was 211 pm and let me click on add and let me give the question as this is my one of the phrase let me add few more phrases series okay i think two are more than enough let me click no because i don't want to add any new more any new phrases and let me give the answer to my question and i suppose there are three parts add update and delete there are three parts would you like to confirm of course no it has provided me, provided me the details of all the questions i have given like all the phrases and the pun answer it is now updating my knowledge base it has given me that it has updated the q and a pair i have added the q and a pair in my knowledge base let me refresh this q and a maker portal and let's check the last modified and last published time it shows me 833 yeah just now it has updated my kb i'll open the kb and i can see these two questions i have added fine so this was all about deploying our chatbot into azure you can also connect your chatbot with various channels in my videos we have seen alexa we have seen microsoft teams we have seen sharepoint now we'll be seeing how to embed your chatbot into website i won't be creating a website as such i'll be just uh, creating a simple html page into my local pc and i'll be opening that html page into my web browser since it has already been configured with the web chat that means we have our embedded codes ready with us here is the embedded code i'll copy this code and i'll paste it in a html file i'll save this as html chatbot dot html this will be the like starting point to embed any chatbot in any website we are just creating a simple web page that's all if you are trying to embed it in a complex website you can also do that using any div elements or wherever you want to keep your chatbot embedded now we need to provide our secret key the secret key is available over here I'll show, I'll copy and I'll paste. And I'll again save this one. I'll click on done. Just close this one. And we have our HTML page ready. Let me open it. It has taken our entire screen. 
now because there are some restrictions for the welcome message to appear in some of the cases you know like when we embed our chatbot into website the welcome message doesn't come up automatically until we give some reply to it i'll just give hi and then only the welcome message will be coming okay it has given me twice maybe some issues are there with the embed thing okay no problem let me click on add and let me give the message as now up and i'll give no i'll give down just uh, antonium i'm giving up down yeah it is updated let us see let me refresh my knowledge base up down fine now as you can see it is like it's not pretty looking good by looking we can also change the ui of the chatbot using web chat that we'll be seeing in the next set of videos how to make it more attractive in appearance you can configure like you can change the message response like in a bubble type message or you can change the background of the chat window those things can be done that will be seeing in the next set of videos yeah thank you all